it's a wonderful treat for me tonight to uh, have heard and seen the Beach Boys. And as you can hear in the background, the girls are still hollering for them. I'm quite pleased to present to you two of them, Brian Wilson on my right and Carl Wilson, his brother, on the left. So this is just two of them. In just a minute, you'll meet the rest of them. But Brian, I understand that you've written uh, many of the songs that you all recorded and made popular and also for others. I have. Uh, Janet Dean, I've written several of their newest hits, the latest hits, you know, since Surf City on up, I've written a lot of those. Well, in uh, writing songs uh, for other people, are you still doing this? Well, not as heavily. I don't really have a chance. We're on the road quite a bit now, mm -hmm. and I, when I have a chance, usually I'm so busy doing Beach Boy work, and I'm sort of limiting myself to Beach Boys. Right. Do you uh, feel that most people know that you have uh, brothers and cousins in your uh, troop? Oh, I, I hope so by now. <laughs> it's been, you know, three brothers, cousin and a neighbor. That's been our right. friend. You know. When you write a song uh, for, for yourself or for your group, what gives you the um, incentive to write them? Well, usually uh, just the fact that we're in the industry and there's a lot of groups competing with us, and uh, I feel that competition, you know, and also I just, I love music, and I get very inspired, just generally creative anyway, right. you know, and I, I understand. do it all the time. I don't well, now, the, uh, how many of them have you had that have been million sellers? Well, actually, million sellers. We've had one million seller that was I Get Around, just recently. You wrote this? Yes, I did. Good. How m name some of them that you've written, Brian. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, starting with uh, Surfing, our first record, and then Surfing Safari, 409, Surfer Girl, Little Deuce Coop, Shut Down, Surfing USA, Be True to Your Little Lady in my room. Pasadena. That's Janet Dean. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, Fun, Fun, Fun. Oh, uh, and goes I Get on Around, on. Don't Worry, Baby. We had Little St. Nick at Christmas time one year uh -huh. last year. And then, uh, what? When I, grow up. when I Grow Up to Be a Man, and She Knows Me Too Well are our latest hit records. Well, you certainly are a talented young man. Let's uh, talk to your brother just a minute. Do you share this uh, admiration for your brother? Yes, well, <laughs> he's, he's done very well with this, you know. I mean, uh -huh. we've had very good luck with the records and everything. And this so. you're Carl, right? Right. Carl's lead guitar player. Lead guitar. Lead guitar. Mm -hmm. In, uh, do you find, Carl, that adults are... Uh, really admirers of rock and roll music, but they sort of don't like to admit it? I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard. To, well, some of them do like it, and then some of them don't. But uh, a lot of them will, you know, probably have albums and, and records, you know, rock and roll, and it wouldn't be caught with them. <laughs> now, are you the one that's still in high school? Right, I am. How are you classified? Well, I, I am now finishing my last semester in school in, in 12th grade. And where do you go? Hollywood Professional School. Good. Do you all live in and around Hollywood now? Well, no. Brian lives in Hollywood, but the rest of us live out in South Bay Area. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the songs that your brother has written, the lyrics really have are what I would call ballads, in a sense, because they most of them tell a story. Well, yeah, they are. Well, they're, they're young, though. They reach, they're just, you know, uh, we can communicate, you know, very well with the, with the you know, with the teenage market because, uh, well, we grew up, with, you know, in the same environment and everything, mm -hmm. so... Well, it's been a double pleasure uh, talking with you, Brian, since you are the composer of most of them. Do you write the words yeah. or music first? Both. Well, usually the music comes first. Mm -hmm. Then I write the, the uh, lyrics over the melody. Besides that, it's great house cleaning music. Oh, thank, <laughs> you. thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gets the pep and well, energy out. We usually like to try to identify and associate with teenagers. You know, with right. We're not, I'm not so far out of my teenage years. I'm only 22. So, right. But uh, usually the lyrics are supposed to be aimed at the everyday lives of kids, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the best like the little old lady yeah. from Pasadena. Well, <laughs> 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 thank you so much, Brian and Carl. Thank you, thank you sir. Pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> You've already met two of the brothers, and this is Dennis Wilson, who is uh, the drummer, and uh, you were doing a magnificent job tonight, Dennis. <laughs> thank you. Not really too well. I don't feel so good tonight. Well, yeah, I understand you got the Oklahoma bug. Yeah, I've got the Oklahoma bug. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. I, I heard uh, you and Al mentioning a minute ago that there was a we were talking about little old lady from Pasadena. There was an elderly lady in the audience tonight. Very old lady out there. Yes, there was. Uh -huh. And did she, she seem to enjoy it? Did she? This she is Al. Was she was clapping her hands. and Come here, Al. With it. Hi. <laughs> Very glad to know you this all. Is, Al, I've got to look at you. Like Jardine. Jardine, right. right. It's kind of English or French. They tell now, me. you're one of the not kin folks. Right. right. And the unkin. Right. Were you a friend before you got together? We all went to school together at the same school, except for Mike. How did you uh, uh, assemble uh, the group? Well, one day as we were walking down the street, <laughs> we all bumped heads. <laughs> I, uh, I <laughs> well, really, seriously, Dennis got the idea that we should write something about surfing because he was a big, avid surfer, surfer then. Very oh, good really? surfer, I might add. And, uh, and, so and uh, Brian having the talent to be able to write songs, and Mike got together and wrote some lyrics, and then we got, all got together and wrote the songs. Uh, after we met uh, beforehand, uh, for instance, in school, Brian and I went to El Camino College together. 
And uh, we all got together at his house one day and did it. Well, how, uh, what, is, what was the first song that you uh, did? Surfing. 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 Right. Surfing. Right. You're a surfer. Yes, ma'am. Well, this is something we don't have much of in Oklahoma. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> We do have a lot of water skiing. and uh, I, I'm program. picking up water skiing now. I just bought you a like new boat. I love it. Yeah, it's a great water skiing. Water skiing in the ocean? Mm. Uh, the lakes and the ocean mm -hmm. all around. See well, right. let me ask you something about surfing. Uh, is it mostly balance or...? or a lot of... M three fourths of it is balance. Uh, and the other quarter is guts. <laughs> That's what I mean, I when you see a wave coming up behind you, unless you have the right mental attitude, you're going to get, uh, uh, what do they call it, wiped, wiped out, right? Well, what's the first thing you do when you want to learn to, to surf? Oh, you start going to church and then... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just, just bought a board and went down to the beach and practiced. That's all mm -hmm. you can do. You know, there's not much preparing you can do besides wax your board down. And where, do you, where do you boys go from here? Uh, back to Los Angeles. We get three days off and then we go back to New York. Oh, good. You're going to be doing some television this fall, I understand, Al. Uh, we're going to do the Ed Sullivan Show on the 27th of September. A really big show. A really big show. <laughs> right. Right. And we're looking very much forward to that show. Fine. And uh, Europe is in the offing uh, later, I understand? Around October 19th, I That's believe. Exactly. Exactly. Hold on, it shouldn't be too much. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. May I compliment you on your beautiful dress? It is Thank beautiful. You. I think it's beautiful. Is it a yeah. gown or a dress? Or well, it? actually, it's a... Uh, Sort of a, a beach girl type. I like that. Yeah. I wanted to be in style oh, when I talked to the Beach Boys. <laughs> Thank you. Here's a young man that uh, seems to be the eldest of the group. However, this doesn't make you an old man, does well, I'm it? the elderly lead singer of the Beach Boys, you know. <laughs> His name is Mike Love, and Mike, I noticed something on your hand. I'm gonna. Pull a uh, sneaky. Oh, no. Yeah, please. I've been found please. out. <laughs> What'd you look? You talk about, uh, How? <laughs> uh, what do you call them, uh, cheat sheet in school? Oh, I don't, wouldn't call it cheat sheet. <laughs> I'd, I'd call it a dictionary. <laughs> That's just about what it is. <laughs> I noticed before the uh, boys went on, wh when before all of you went on, uh, you were making out the uh, the schedule of what right. you were going to sing. How do you determine, of all of your hits that you've had, that you uh, put together? How do we determine which yeah. one to mm -hmm. play at which time? I don't know. Just by... Sort of doing it for about three years, almost three years. Uh, mm -hmm. We more or less get a feel of uh, the audiences mm -hmm. and, and in general. And we came up with uh, sort of a basic formula, like if you're going to do three fast songs, we should do a slow song right, following right. it. Or oh, it kind of paces. So there's a lot more to uh, this than just getting out there and patting your foot and singing. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> we try to work as, as good an act uh, as we can. You know, we try to get it together as well you, as we can. Do you play an instrument? Yes, I do, but I'm so brilliant, I lost it. <laughs> Did <laughs> you really? In Urbana, you? Ohio, well, you know where that is. You play the saxophone, isn't it? Yeah, I play the saxophone, but I I lost it a couple of weeks ago and haven't uh, well, gotten a new Well, you did very well. I noticed the crowd. Okay. Actually, uh, did you see the girl that jumped over the fence? Yeah, wasn't she, that there were a couple of them jumped over and that one got to the drumsticks. <laughs> And the, p the police had to uh, carry them off. But I understand this is nothing new for the Beach Boys. The girls all go crazy. Well, I wish all of them did. I mean, <laughs> well, some of the crowds, are, you know, some of the girls do want to get a souvenir or something. Well, I, can you, can't you see why? And most of the women who are watching are probably married women. Oh, really? <laughs> but uh, how do you like playing an amphitheater such as Spring Lake? Um, well, Spring Lake is great. I love the outdoors. You know, I love to play outdoors. It's you know, it's a feeling of freedom where in, when you're in a, a dingy old inside, uh, what is it, Coliseum or yeah. or uh, something like that, it, it's kind of depressing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Of course, the crowd makes it uh, worthwhile if they're, you know, enjoying you. Right. Enjoying well, Mike, play. I want to thank you for taking thank the time out. I know you just have a few minutes rest before the next show. That's right. And it looks uh, that way. do come back next summer. Well, thanks Would a lot. You? you might even come back during the winter. Well, do. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> All right. And I'll have to cut that.